has slowed down a lot. It's down to eight miles per hour. It's been meandering for a while during the day. Still quite possible it could come into Carolina. I think what we're going to see is it's going to stall right on the coast for a while. It could just fizzle out there, could it? Well, it could just rain itself out a lot, but you know, it's over open water still in the Gulf Stream in warm water, so it still will pick up and create a lot of intense thunderstorms on the Carolina coast. Then it may drift to the north for the weekend, but there's a lot of places it could go. It's a hurricane that can go anywhere. Here's what we've had to contend with today. Ta-da! Beautiful blue skies, gorgeous weather, been a bit on the warm side. Humidity picked up a little bit today, but not bad. Here's what's going on this hour. We do have sunshine outside. It is 90 degrees. Humidity not bad, 52%. The barometer right around 30. Still there. Very good. East wind at 9, giving us a little sea breeze today. Making it rather nice in the coastal sections, but around the high tide, that's when there's been great swells, riptides, and beach erosion for today. Here's what's going on. This is the current satellite loop. We'll show you what's going on with Hurricane Felix out in the Atlantic now. The storm, you can see is kind of drifting just a little bit down the last frame, a little bit to the west-northwest at about 8 miles per hour. You can start to see an eye wall form on that last satellite picture there. That eye wall center is about 14 miles in diameter. It is still kicking out feeder bands, spiral bands, if you will, right along the outer banks of North Carolina, right here to the Virginia coast in Norfolk, Virginia. So they're getting some showers and some thunderstorms there now. This is the next Rad Precision Radar from North Carolina. We can show you what's going on there, and you'll see the bands of showers that are coming on shore there and producing wind gusts of about 38 miles per hour reported this hour right there at Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. And that's where the showers pretty much are ending, right along the Carolina coast there. A couple of scattered thunder showers coming in now to Chesapeake Bay, and that's really about it. We've seen some gorgeous weather today. We've had dominating high pressure in the northeast, and that is good. And when you have that type of action going on, it will keep this storm suppressed to the south. You can see the cloud band of associated with Felix here, just to the south of Cape May. That's why they have a tropical storm warning in effect there all the way up to Manasquan Inlet. We have high pressure in the area and another cold front sagging to the south. So all of that is going to keep the storm down there. We don't expect to see any effects from that until possibly 48 hours from now we can get a real grip on what the storm is going to do. Here's what's happening. There's still a hurricane warning in effect for the Virginia coast and also North Carolina coast. Tropical storm warning still in effect from Chicoteague, Virginia, all the way up to Manasquan Inlet. The storm has now begun to drift a little bit to the west-northwest at 8 miles per hour. Winds are still at 80 miles per hour. It's 145 miles east-southeast of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. We'll see some tides running 1 to 3 feet above the normal low tide, or around high tide, it's going to be even greater. Probably going to see some waves that'll be about 5 to 10 feet higher, like David Navarro was showing you. We'll have warm and sticky night tonight, 74. Tomorrow, it's going to be a day of sunshine. It will be warm, and you'll feel a breeze tomorrow once that cold front drops down for the north. A bit humid, however, for tomorrow night. So we're really on the same song about the fourth or fifth verse. Our weather's not going to change that drastically. The hurricane's going to stay down there for a while. Part of New not? Jersey is under a tropical storm warning tonight, but it looks like the outer banks of North Carolina are in for a direct hit. At Nags Head, North Carolina, Felix's waves are pounding the shore. Already something like 200,000 people have evacuated coastal North Carolina. But before leaving, they were trying to ward off potential damage from the storm. As one man put it, they were preparing for the worst, but hoping for the best. And in our area, they're also preparing for the worst. At West Hampton Beach on Long Island, people were busy filling up sandbags today in a frantic attempt to protect their very vulnerable homes. But it is south of us where Felix is expected to have his greatest impact. And Jim Dolan is live now in Virginia Beach. Good evening, Jim. Good evening, Bill. About 170 miles out there sits Felix, taking its time, gathering its strength, and keeping those of us on land windswept and just about guessing all the time. To the south, of course, is a mandatory evacuation. Folks down there have to get out of North Carolina, uh, have to get out of parts of North Carolina, the coastal sections. And up here in Virginia Beach, they are strongly urged to evacuate. But the thing is, nobody Nobody knows exactly where Felix is going to choose to focus its angry muscle, so the best bet is to just get out. The sandbags were a good idea, but no match for the rising tide in Felix's wake. All day long it came, an angry, menacing surf that has emptied towns, shuttered stores, made roads impassable, and left the boardwalks with only the curious and the foolhardy. What are you doing here? Well, we just wanted to come over and see what the waves are there it doing. Is. All wet now. <laughs> We just wanted to come over and check out the waves yeah. and see what, what we were facing here and in the next couple of days. And they're coming a little closer than we expected, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Just, we're going to ride it out, and our neighbors got a generator, so we can go down there and do whatever if we want to. Yeah. You, you, you don't seem too scared about it. No. It's, nothing, it's only a category one, so it's nothing really to be scared of. <laughs> Maybe it's nothing to be scared of, but most people are leaving, though most of them would rather stay. Father and daughter, both from Bernardsville, 
would rather stick around and just see what a hurricane looks like. So I've been talking about riding out a hurricane since we started coming down here and I've never actually had the nerve to do it. Right. Fortunately, well, people always throw me out, so I don't have the choice. I want to stay here and have fun, but my parents aren't letting us do that. In Virginia Beach, they closed the beach and some of those foolish enough to violate that directive were taken into custody. Others, though, were harder to catch as they rode jet skis into the violent surf. Even on land, Felix and the wind he sent this way made getting around something more than a breeze. We are back live now on a windswept Virginia beach. You know, Felix is an enormous storm, not only in strength, but in size as well. Uh, it is uh, causing problems not only down here, but all the way up the coast. And Eddie Arusa is up in Cape May, New Jersey, with more on that part of the story. Eddie. Well, Jim, Hurricane Felix may be a couple hundred miles to the southeast of here, but it's been dangerous enough to cause riptides all along the Jersey Shore and along Long Island, forcing the closure of many of the beaches, including here at Cape May. Now, things may not look too treacherous just yet, but officials expect that to change in the next several hours, and they've been preparing for it all day. Even with the beaches closed for most of the day, vacationers in Cape May came to see the spectacle that Hurricane Felix was producing, and a dangerous show it was. We've kept people off the beach because of the severe backwash of water. It can pull little children off the cliff and into the water. But thrill-seeking surfboarders were unfazed by warnings from officials, and tourists in the sleepy resort town felt no sense of urgency. Well, I'm not worried. <laughs> because I'm leaving tomorrow morning. <laughs> you think you'll be able to get out? I hope so. Town officials, however, were far more cautious. The city remained under a tropical storm warning, some of its beaches being eroded by the raging surf. As some streets began to flood, a warning went out. What we've told our, our neighbors and our residents and our tourists is to move their vehicles to higher ground in the residential areas of the city to secure all loose items of furniture. And the city mobilized its emergency management office in anticipation of worsening conditions. There's no evacuation orders. We're just uh, advising people to move their cars in low-lying areas so that their property doesn't get damaged. But despite the town's preparations, the main square was filled with casual sightseers this afternoon, while some with timeshares said only evacuation orders would send them packing. We'll hang out as long as we can. <laughs> Paying too much for this to go away too soon. <laughs> Well, now this is supposed to be low tide here at Cape May, but uh, Felix is making, uh, is preventing the waters from receding, which has officials worried that when high tides hit in about five hours, things are going to be pretty bad here. We're live at Cape May. Eddie Arusa, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Eddie and Jim Dolan. Meteorologist Bill Evans has been tracking the storm's wavering moves in the Atlantic, and he's here now with the latest on Felix. Bill? Well, Bill, like mentioned, the storm is a Category 1. It is a minimal hurricane with winds of 75 to 85 miles per hour. But the problem with this storm is, is that during the day, Felix has really slowed down, and it's almost stationary. It's just moving now to the west-northwest at about 8 miles per hour. So what happens is feeder band after feeder band, these are called spiral band, waves of showers and thunderstorms just keep slamming into the outer banks of North Carolina. And that effect of uh, the storm is felt all the way into the tri-state area. The storm is very broad. It's very expansive, but it's going to sit here for about another 36 to 48 hours, kind of moving very slowly to the northwest. Here are the current statistics with the storm. It is 145 miles east-southeast of Cape Hatteras. Winds are west-northwest, uh, movement west-northwest at about 8 miles per hour. Sustained winds are really at about 75 miles per hour, but because of the northeast quadrant, the strongest portion of the storm, there's some 85 mile per hour winds. Uh, the Weather Service is calling it 80 mile per hour winds. So it's a category one on the Saffir Simpson scale. And where Eddie Arusa was, the tide was running a little higher than normal because tides are running one to three feet above normal tide at low tide. So it's going to be a very high tide of five to 10 feet above normal tides along our coastal sections for tonight around the high tide. A lot of surf and a lot of pounding going to go on for a couple of more days. Bill, we'll have more coming up in just a minute. Okay, Bill, thank you very much. And when we come.